been shooting today is is continuous. We've been shooting it for like I'd probably say about is it two, two three weeks? weeks? Yeah. Two to three weeks we've been filming it. Um, so this is the massive battle at Aratusa. <laughs> in um, and basically destroyed the place um, in the name of the white flame yeah we should probably say that this happens straight after the ball oh, so yeah. in my head I say it's because we're angry we're not invited and what's really great about these kind of scenes is there's so much atmos going on that you don't have to act too much you're just yeah. reacting to dust in your eyes and wind machines yeah. and actors shouting at you and throwing things it's fun it's very real yeah So I work as a producer on The Witcher, and right now we're on the set of Eratusa, and it's two of our biggest episodes of the season. And my job from the very beginning was working with the director to prep it, basically be in touch with the showrunner, the directors, every single head of department, and make sure that what you're seeing actually comes to screen and comes to life. One of the brilliant things about working on The Witcher, it challenges you across the board. So one day we've got stunts in, the next day we're setting people on fire, we have horses in, armory, so it very much varies on a day-to-day -day basis. Go! Trish, find Carol. Battle scenes are great because there's usually lots of different characters in them, the same with the ball. So a lot of the time you're just working with kind of the people in your storyline. So these things, when everyone's coming together, are always really fun, um, especially behind the scenes because you have a bit of a giggle. Yeah, and everyone's 100% committed. So you'll be in the middle of the scene and you'll look over and be like, wow, what is she doing? That's incredible. Lots of intense eye Yeah, contact. lots of intense eye contact. <laughs> I think the biggest thing for me is that it was just the first time that I've done fantasy. Um, so workflows are slightly different, um, particularly video is a little bit more involved because we need reference much more often and it will be um, overlays to VFX, that kind of thing. Setups take a different amount of time to do and turnarounds are very different, which is much quicker and more efficient because um, it's just so much more involved than usual. From a sound perspective, there's fans going, uh, flames going. If there's a, a shot where we can get clean dialogue, where there's not much action, we'll try and quieten the background noise down. So it's, it's hectic on a day like this. The most challenging thing about shooting this season is the location work, which you sort of know what you're signing up to. Uh, we were in like, Italy and Slovenia to start the shoot, and that was quite hard, a lot of snow. My favourite location's been shooting on the beach in Wales. It's the Geralt and Vilgefortz fight. That was quite fun, there's a lot of running around with the camera. <laughs> Here cannot be underestimated. It's a massive part of the look of the show. The world you can create with hairstyles is so vast. And on this season, we have a great opportunity with the ball sequence to really go a little bit wild and fabulous, to take ourselves out of a solely medieval period fantasy world and just push it out into a bit of high fashion and a bit of glam. Yennefer hosts this ball, the Conclave, and um, of course she has to stand out. So we try to kind of design a dress together that would stand out. It's horrible to wear. It's got beaded, beautiful material that in certain lights you could, it reflects the colour of her eyes, violet. Her necklace, which we have tied to the middle of the dress because we thought we wanted her neck free for once, but we still, we know how important this is to Yennefer, so we needed it on her costume. And I think it looked really beautiful. Um, and did make her stand out, so I was very chuffy that. We can use wigs to completely and utterly alter the way that someone looks. It helps submerge someone into fantasy. 
I feel like we're, we've been able to create styles on people that you wouldn't know was a wig. You wouldn't know that Siri's hair is not her own hair. The quality of the wig work that we are being given from the wig makers is second to none, so it allows me to create all kinds of fantastical things. Because it's such a big production and we've got so many different scenes every single week, um, you just need to keep up with everything and you learn something and two days later it has changed already which is great because you never get bored I mean you can see from the stock it's so many costumes especially in crowd we get to kind of create the characters here so usually the supporting actors will come in we know what role they're gonna play and then we have to pick out stuff from the stock and we basically make up the whole costume and personality here so that's great because you get to see the character come to life It's very rewarding at the end of the day to see the end product and to work with such a great team. It's amazing watching things back. Yeah. I always feel like a bit of a kid. Yeah, I like, do. do you? Yeah. Like we're doing so much magic and you're just like... <laughs> but as long as you know what's happening, I think it really does translate on screen and then when you see it all come together in the final edit, you're like, wow! When you watch it on screen, you're like, yeah, I see what actually we're doing. works. But in your head, you're like, I hope this looks good. Are you sure? Yeah. But yeah, it does. It matches up. Well, it's magical because you don't actually yeah. know what it's going to finally look like. And you see it maybe six months or a year after you've shot it. And suddenly there's all these amazing special effects and you're actually doing magic. And you're like, yeah. wow, I look really cool. <laughs> I'm so lucky that I get to see it from the very first moment of inception all the way through as we're producing it on the ground, in the blood, in the wind, in the rain, all the way into post when it's the final version of the script and you actually get to see it on screen and how everybody's work up until that final moment when we get to share it with audiences on screen, we get to celebrate that together knowing that we did this together.